Christian Karasowitz here from ChristianKOnline.com and Facebook.com slash AskCK. So do you find it difficult to manage your Twitter stream? For example, you want to see tweets from certain individuals. However, when you go to your stream, they're all mixed up. Well, there's a technique on Twitter called Twitter lists. And these Twitter lists will let you segment your audience so that instead of going directly to your stream, you can go directly to the specific list of people you want to see tweets from. So today, we're gonna to show you how to use Twitter lists. We're gonna talk about two different types, public and private. Let's see how this works. So this is what a normal Twitter stream will look like. As you can see here, there are a lot of different accounts in my stream. And the more that I follow, the more challenging it can be to keep up. For example, if I wanna see updates from a specific individual, I have to know what their account is because then I'll have to either look for it or go directly to their profile. Well, fortunately with Twitter lists, this will help solve a lot of these issues. So by using Twitter list, you'll be able to segment out all of the updates that you're seeing and go right to a list to view them. So to create a Twitter list, all you have to do is log into your Twitter account, click on your profile icon and select lists. Now at this point on the right hand side, there's a section called create new list and you'll give your list a name, a description and under the privacy section, you need to decide if your list is going to be public or private. If you're going to create a list that you want people to be able to follow and subscribe and to share with others, you'll create a public list. However, in the case of this list, I'm creating one for competitors. I don't necessarily want people to be able to see this list or share it or follow it. So I'm going to make it private. This means it's only accessible to my Twitter account. So once I've created this list, you're going to be taken directly to that list where you can go in and you can either type in the name of an account, or if you already know the account, you can open up another tab and add a user to that list. Let me show you how that works. So here's an example of an account that I want to add to my competitors list. Instead of following them, because it's going to notify them, I'm going to click on the gear icon and I'm going to select add or remove from lists. Now at this point, I'm going to look for the competitors list that I created, which has a lock icon next to it, and I'm going to select it. Now I'm going to do is close that window. And now instead of following this account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Twitter account, click on my name, click on lists. And then at this point, I can see all of the lists I've created. And if I want to see who is in that list, I can go right there and see all of their tweets. So that's how to set up and use Twitter lists, both public lists and private lists. Now, if you have additional questions or ideas on Twitter lists, please leave those in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. For additional Twitter marketing tips and tutorials, check out my blog, ChristianKOnline.com for more.